Hello and welcome to the Unix tip of the day. Today we'll be talking about the command prompt. Um, the default command prompt, at least on OS 10, is your host name, the current directory, and the user you're currently logged in in the prompt sign. Um, the problem is that as we start to navigate through the system, we know that we're in images, but we don't know which images. Are we in sites images? Are we in foobar.com's images? Whose images are we really in? Or what what is the path um, for that working directory? Um, this can become somewhat cumbersome also if you're using SSH, SS SCP a lot, other tools that uh, return you a, a prompt. Um, you know, sometimes you get funky listings and you, you have to hit enter a couple of times to get back to where you really want to be so you can start executing commands. Um, the thing is in Unix, the, this command prompt is 100% customizable. So I'm going to share with you a command prompt that a user, uh, Jay McGavern, sent in. Um, so thank you, Jay. So if we go ahead and we, um, there's several different files that we can edit. We can edit um, your bash profile, your bash rc file, um, any number of the uh, files that load up when the shell loads up. I'm going to go ahead and go with bash profile um, because it's a, a default of OS 10. And here we'll bas basically export out a, a variable for um, prompt string 1. And inside this string, the backslash u is for the current logged in user. We're going to insert the at symbol and the uh, backslash h is for the host name, a colon, a backslash w for the working directory, a backslash n for a new line character. This will help when we do those operations that maybe don't return real nice. Um, they'll go ahead and give us a new line character. And then the backslash dollar sign will give us a dollar sign if we're a normal user or will give us an octothorpe or a tic-tac-toe sign, as many of us may call it, um, if we are a root user. Um, we're going to go ahead and save this and we're going to close it down and um, we could uh, sh to, to pull this but we're going to go ahead and just shut it down all the way to make sure it takes and as we bring it back up you will now see that it has host name or my, a username host name and the current working directory instead of the current directory we can prove this now by going to sites images we will see site images. Um, the other thing is it is just set as a variable in there. So if we go out and we look for um, prompt string one, you will see that it's set out there so we can use it for other things as well. Again, thank you, Jay, for sharing. I uh, hope this helps, and I hope you take the time to go look at the man page and see what other kind of cool things you can do with your prompt string. Uh, thanks a lot.